Theropods are the terrestrial successors to the non-avian theropods, as they were distributed wide and far for almost 43 million years and only went extinct about 100,000 years ago. Some of them were giants, especially the Kalenkan and Forosrakos, among some others. However, there was another theropod that lived much later, aka closer to their extinction date, that still managed to be at the top of the food chain in a quite wild environment. It was the last of the giant theropods. Around 5 million years ago in North America, a true titan appeared, the terrorbird Titanus. Titanus walleri, meaning Wallace Titan, was a genus of extinct forest rocket bird, aka Terrorbot, that was first named by Broadcorp in 1963. It is found within the forest rocket subgroup Foros Rakinae, alongside other giant Foros Rakines, such as De Vincentia, Kalenken, Foros Rakos, etc. It is known from Paleometer, namely Primeval, Monsters Resurrected, Prehistoric Predators and some more. Its 2023 appearance caused quite a lot of fuss and controversy, but we'll get to that later, so stay tuned to find out. Titanus belongs to an order of primarily flightless birds called the Cariaformis or Cariami. Only the members of the Cariamidae subgroup are still around. There are only two living genuses within Cariamidae, the red and the black-legged Seriema, these two being the closest living relatives to Titanus. Fossils of Titanus have been discovered in Florida, Texas and California. The fossils have been dated to between the early Pliocene and early Pleistocene epochs, about 5 million years ago to 1.8 million years ago. Titanus was a giant carnivore, standing upright at over 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet in height and weighing over 300 kilograms or 660 pounds. In general, pterobots possessed large hooked beaks and powerful necks. They were flightless but had other great hunting adaptations such as elongated hind limbs for running and sharp talons on their feet. Their skulls are robust with the giant forest rakines, having developed particularly rigid skulls for increased bite force and pecking power, indicating they also hunted big animals. Terrobots had excellent eyesight and hearing, with adaptations for both bright and dark conditions, as well as the ability to hear low frequencies. While smaller species might have been more agile and also faster, larger terrobots such as Titanus had heavier builds and probably relied more on ambush tactics with short bursts of speed. Many scientists also believed that the clawed legs of terrorbots were formidable kicking weapons, crippling even giant predators such as saber-toothed cats before employing the beak for the final blow. Their powerful feet might generally get them called the reincarnation of Utahraptor at some point for real. They also remind me of Edmontosaurus or Shantungosaurus kicking the life out of a big Tyrannosaur. And this brings me on to Titanus' most controversial appearance in Paleomedia, which was in Life on Our Planet. Two saber-toothed cats, namely Smilodon, ambushed the Titanus, taking it down with ease, no problem. Easy. But with all the aforementioned traits, it should be evidently clear that Titanus would not have been an animal that is taken down this easy. On the flip side, life on our planet had this hunting is easy trope more than once, with not only what I call the Smilodon case, but also with a young Lystrosaurus too dumb to live, and a juvenile mammoth that just gave up on life, letting itself get taken down by one cave lion. I will send you to Jesus. Honestly, I wonder what Titanus and Smilodon must have talked about after that fight in life on our planet. Hey man, I'm thinking about retiring. This saber tooth versus terrible drop is just too much. Yeah man, same here. They got us all messed up. Now let's get to the habitat of Titanus with more recent interpretations suggesting that the environment of Pliocene to Pleistocene Florida was a mosaic of different communities, a mixture of forest savannas, wetlands, etc. and that Titanus lived in the areas of Cyric thorn scrubs and savannas. Titanus lived during the Great American Biotic Interchange, or Gabby, also just called the Great American Interchange. This was an important late Cenozoic, Paleo, Zoo and Geographic Biotic Interchange event, in which land and freshwater fauna migrated from North America to South America via Central America and vice versa, as the volcanic isthmus of Panama rose up from the seafloor and bridged the formerly separated continents. Its most dramatic effect is on the zoo geography of mammals, but it also gave an opportunities for reptiles, amphibians, arthropods, birds and even freshwater fish to migrate. This also impacted the Titanus's paleo environment as it lived alongside a variety of different animal groups. 
most of Titanus' time span on Earth lies within the so-called Blanken Age, typically set from 4.75 to 1.806 million years ago. Sites of Florida and where Titanus lived preserved over 100 species including many different mammals. These mammals include extinct proboscideans and perissodactyls, represented by grazing equids and browsing tapirs, a wide array of artiodactyls including peccaries, camelids and pronghorns, and the extant white-tailed deer. Furthermore, armadillos and their relatives such as the pamperfear, a dasipodid and a glyptodont as well as giant ground sloths, large rodents such as capybaras and porcupines, a lot of smaller mammals such as shrews, rabbits and muskrats have also been found here. Mammalian predators include hyenids, borophagians and saber toothed cats, including Xenosmilus and Smilodon. Alongside the mammals, a menagerie of reptiles including lizards, turtles and snakes as well as avifauna, namely a turkey and the giant teraton, teratonus, one of the largest flight capable birds ever, also lived here. If we look at size, we can clearly see Titanus outsizing almost every other predator, only being rivaled by big saber toothed cats. Titanus walleri, one of the biggest and most terrifying predators North America had seen since the age of the dinosaurs. He truly was a titan. That's it for the prehistoric profile of the Titanus. As it is an avian dinosaur, not a non-avian one, you can find it alongside many other non-dinosaur animals in the playlist Animals of Prehistory. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe so you don't miss anything. Also check out Instagram and Twitter, links in the description. With that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.